Jones from Joplin Park May Athletic Association, and today we are taking a look at the Scott Rodell cutting dowel. All right, first thing I'm going to do is get started cutting. This thing is built like a tank. I can't wait. Alright guys, just got done with the cutting session I gotta say, I am happy with it and I gotta say my favorite feature about it is, even though I'm still learning about it myself, and I think generally everybody is still learning about it, uh, some are farther ahead of the curve than the others on this, but as far as drawing cuts, whether it's from this direction, um, which seems to be the proper way, or if you don't care about historical accuracy, you want to draw it from the throat, and we sheath it from the throat, it's very comfortable, very comfortable. So that's that's my favorite thing about about this dow is being able to make drawing cuts easy and comfortably with it. Very nice. Let's get the uh, let's get the specs out of the way. I'll throw those up real quick. All right. So the first thing I want to talk about is the scabbard. Um, scabbard really nicely made, good solid um, pinned in. Um, mountings here. Uh, this mounting is really nice, really solid across the top. Um, the, there's, there's no rattle, no rattle at all in the scabbard. Um, very solid on the bottom, so you can very comfortably and safely, you know, put it against the ground. It's not going to hurt it. This thing is, it's truly built like a tank. Um, very nice, very nice drawing motion, whether you know, you're less formal and do it the Japanese style with the throat or what seems to be the more traditional style of drawing it from underneath that way. Okay, so let's start with the, uh, the pommel first. The pommel is uh, nice and solid and the way it's put together, if you can see here, it's got an, uh, an Allen uh, hex, hex type bolt there. And that's really awesome if it's put together the way, I haven't taken it apart, but if it's put together the way I think, that's awesome. Because if it ever loosens up, I think you'll be able to twist that and that should bring everything back together. And so if there shouldn't be any wobble problems, that's a really cool feature on the pommel. Um, the bing, the handle, um, that's really the only issue I have with the sword so far. You can see there's, you know, this one's had a lot of use. Um, Keith had it before me and, you know, I've used it a lot. and. This is a common thing, okay? This is not uncommon for any type of wrap sword. Um, so this is not a big issue. There's ways to fix it. It's a very, very common thing with production swords. Um, the guard, the guard is excellent. Very solid, uh, common, you know, well-made, just typical, pretty, pretty typical. Um, the blade itself has the willow leaf, um, Louis Dow style, which, it took me a little while to get used to, but I hate to say it feels very much like a katana once I get, once I got comfortable with it. Um, uh, it's just a really, a really well built, um, really well built all the way around. It's, the thing is truly built like a tank. I would have absolutely no problems, you know, cutting bamboo all day long with this. Fresh bamboo, dry bamboo whatever um, it, it's a beast uh, really great sword um, besides the one issue with with um, 
the hilt here, I mean the fittings, the husha, the guard, the pommel, all the fittings are, I love silver, I prefer silver to gold all day long, so it's, the aesthetic's nice, it's just, it's just a really beautiful sword, it moves really well, fits nicely in the hand, okay, it's not, it's not overly wide like a lot of uh, production Dow tend to be, and it feels really fat, so to speak, in the hand, it's, it's really, uh, it flows really well, it fits really good, and, uh, I gotta say, um, I would almost say this is, I would give this a 5 out of 5, but you know, I can't rate every sword I do 5 out of 5, so I'm giving it 4.9 out of 5 stars, and the only reason because of that little issue with the, with the uh, hilt there, which is the ding, which is not a big deal. Um, this is a wonderful sword for the price point, worth every penny, I, I highly recommend it, especially if you want to cut. Thanks to uh, Keith Seeley, the Scholar General, for letting me borrow this for the review. Uh, I appreciate it, and um, uh, thank you guys for uh, watching and uh, checking out these reviews and uh, videos and stuff. And uh, if, if you like this type of thing and you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Um, we will put a link to this uh, for purchase from Seven Star down in the uh, down in the descriptions. And I thank you very much. I will see you guys next time.